girl talk. The topic today is boyfriends, also including a lesson on prioritizing. Boyfriends. These are questions that have been asked multiple times by different girls. What if my parents don't approve of him? What if my friends don't approve of him? What if he wants me to do things that I don't want to do? And I'm going to give you detailed answers to these questions. What if my parents don't approve of him? If you think that your parents wouldn't approve of your boyfriend, take these steps to make your parents be more likely to like him. Pay attention. Listen when your parents are talking. Figure out what they consider high class. If your parents think of having a job as responsible, suggest to your boyfriend of getting a job. Change it up. You don't exactly have to change his style or who he is, but rather teach him some manners and how to act in front of your parents. Suggest maybe instead of wearing ripped jeans and an undershirt, maybe he should wear a polo shirt with some nice clean jeans enhance his positive features. If he has a way with words, suggest that he should write a very lovely letter a couple days after meeting your parents, thanking them for everything. If he's awesome at math, play a game of Monopoly and have him be the banker. Never ever suggest him to do something that would make a fool out of himself. What if my friends don't approve of him? If your friends are always talking about your boy in a negative way, Follow these steps to settle the matter. Talk. Confront your friends about the situation and tell them positive things about your boyfriend. Listen. Really listen to what your friends are saying. Some of what your friends are saying could be accounted for. For example, if your friends say that he's ugly or a creeper, that's probably not an accountable thing. But if your friend says he's a player and a cheater, you should take that into consideration think before you act. Do not decide to be mean to your friends because they don't like your boyfriend, because chances are that they, that you and your boyfriend will break up. If you have no friends and no boyfriend, who do you have? Wait it out. As time goes by, your friends will either accept your boyfriend or you will have another one. If you just wait, things will turn out. What if he wants me to do things that I don't want to do? If a, if your boyfriend is pressuring you to do either illegal, inappropriate, or things you just don't want to do, take these steps to resolve this problem. Be serious. Use a calm but very serious voice and tell him with a confident no that you don't want to do what he wants you to do. Give hints. When you aren't even being asked to do what he wants you to do, say things like, Oh, I'll never want to do drugs. I mean, like, if they mess up your head. Don't make it obvious, but make it somewhat apparent that you don't want to do the thing he wants you to do. Get an adult involved. If he is seeming forceful of what he wants you to do, get a trusted adult involved. It may seem like snitching, but at this point your safety is an issue. Also, at this point you should probably end your relationship. Prioritizing. This one is about school. Concentrate on school first. It's really important, no matter if you're in middle school or high school, because you need good grades to get in a good high school in middle school. And in high school, you need good grades to get into good college. And that's really important, getting into college. And if you go through college, you'll make a lot more money if you don't go into college. Two. Organize your homework in an assignment notebook. You can just take a regular notebook or you can buy a specially designed assignment notebook and just write like math, history, science, biology, all that stuff. And then just write down what you have to do. And do your homework. That's really easy enough just to do it. Because if you do it, you know the, the lesson and you know what you say on the test and all that stuff. It's important. Homework is important. Check your homework with a friend. Check. That's not a copy. Checking your homework with a friend is when you have finished your homework and they have finished your homework and you collaborate and you say, well this is what I put and, if, and you guys say, well which, what parts should we change or keep the same? That's really important. Don't copy. Copy 
won't help you in life. Let's just put it that way.